good for you, good for the soul, bath and body work. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Lexi Artist and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited because I get to do an unboxing video for someone that is near and dear to my heart. Um, I'm so happy for her, y'all like, don't understand. I guess I should tell you what I'm talking about first. Today I will be doing an unboxing video for Pure With Love. Um, it is a woman owned, black owned, self, I don't wanna call it a self care business, but she specializes in soaps, uh, body scrubs, cosmetics. Basically think of like a black owned Lush. Like that. that's what you'll find at Pure With Love. And their motto is everything is made with love. And it's so true. If you ever get the chance to meet her, Jasmine is one of the most sweetest people that you will ever meet. So I'm really honored to be able to finally bring you guys an unboxing video because, you know, I wanted to support. She does have sales often. So this is a mix of per items I purchase, you know, regularly and some things I picked up during the sale. I'm going to have my phone out so that I can read like the, the scent notes and everything for you guys. Um, I don't want to get anything wrong. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So this is my box of goodies. Um, I don't even know if you guys can see. I got five soaps, two pigments, uh, a body scrub, a whip soap, and a face mask, as well as uh, she threw in a uh, lip gloss. So, I'm gonna start with the baby one that I got. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Mmm. Oh wow. Like you guys, I, I wanted to do this video of justice, so I haven't really like been digging in this until I was able to get the video out. But these smell so good. So this is the black currant soap. The scent notes are fresh citrus. Let me unplug my phone. It is described as a fresh citrus top notes of bergamot and orange blend with clove and mint on background notes of soft floral, patchouli, musk, and vanilla. It gives all that. Like oh this is so good it's currently sold out on the website but she constantly restocks um i'm really excited to try this i love anything with like a warm well truly of course <laughs> anything with like a warm citrusy and like sweet smell right up my alley oh and black currant was a pie on bar yeah i'm gonna try and i think all the other ones are seven ounce I think y'all don't get me lying. I'm not sure. <laughs> but the next bar I picked up is the green tea and shea butter artisan bar soap. This one is described as an aroma of warm steeping green tea leaves and relaxing spa type. And I believe it. This is, it has a very like spa smell. Like, you know, um, I don't know if you've ever been the spa in the Ritz Carlton. When you walk in, it, it kind of has like that smell. I don't know what they spray. It smells good though. And it has shea butter. Anything with shea butter, I'm I'm gonna try. The next bar I picked up is the acai berries artisan soap. This one is described as acai berries. Oh wait, I read that wrong. <laughs> so it has top notes of acai berries, mid notes of cherry, plum, and violet, and base notes of wood. This, oh, oh, oh wow. I think this is my favorite. Oh, I like that. And I like how, so basically what she tends to do, and I think it's like her little signature and I, it's the cutest thing ever. So typically whatever, you know, ingredients are in the soap, so normally like top the soap with it. So I don't know if you can see, well, this one is just, um, I think these are either sugar, like rock sugar or rock salt and some glitter with soap shavings. Um, granted it was a little bit higher, but it got crushed in the box. But see this one, and I love the little like cake icing design. This one has green tea on top. And then like, of course it's like speckled throughout 
that's so cute and then the black current one it just had some fleet glitter the next soap i picked up and this is a, fab, a five ounce bar the other two were seven this is her sleepy head artisan soap now this one is described as lavender lang lang and tonka bean mingle in our nightfall fragrance oil to create something sexy and relaxing at the same time this scent has an earthy floral smell that is very sultry and it is i got this as like um like a self-care night like when i want to take myself on a date and i just want like a nice bubble bath and to sit in the tub this is what i got this for they actually have a bath bomb in the same scent as well but i don't have a tub where i live currently so i don't really feel the need to get a bath bomb now granted of course i have access to tubs but i'm i'm a, tend to be a shower girl anyway unless again like i want to, to relax and treat myself but um i just don't like sitting in your own like <laughs> this smells so good jazz you did the damn thing so the last bar soap that I grabbed is honestly the one I was most excited to try. And this is her Yoni cleansing bar. If you don't know what a Yoni is, uh, you probably shouldn't be watching this video, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but it's right on trend with, you know, the Yoni steams and the Yoni pearls. This one is described as our Yoni bar soap are infused with botanical blend of olive oil, lavender, and jasmine oil antibacterial properties that can cure bacteria and infections, including BV, yeast infections, and bad odors. Our Yoni bar will provide freshness and help with vag vagina pH balance. The ingredients are a botanical blend of infused olive oil, coconut oil, apple cider vinegar, aloe vera juice, avocado oil, Greek yogurt, organic carrot, green tea, and essential oils and natural claim <laughs> claims natural clays for color um i haven't tried any yoni specific products so i was really intrigued when i read the ingredient list on the website i've never seen a soap with apple cider vinegar i've never seen a soap with aloe vera gel never seen a soap with carrot like these are things that i don't know like i wanted to try it um of course if i have a reaction i'll stop using it um if you guys want an update I'll, <laughs> i'm more than willing to share <laughs> but um I really wanted to try this. She also now has a Yoni foaming wash. If you are someone that tends to get like the Summer's Eve or um, what's the other brand? Is it bad that I only know Summer's Eve? <laughs> um, but if you are someone that likes to get Summer's Eve, I would definitely recommend trying out her Yoni foaming cleanse. Girl, and they smell so good. So I picked up two pigments. Um, this one, and they're like little, uh, they're kind of like pigment flakes. I don't know if you guys can really see. But this one is called Blue Beans. And it's a blue with a purple and green shift. Really pretty. And this one is Do You Boo. And it's a gold and red with like purple. And these you will definitely need a base with. Because they are flakes. You know what? I'm going to put a base down and then show you guys. Oh my goodness. Do y'all see how pretty? Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. Oh, these are fire. So this isn't really like a sparkly pigment. It's more of a like metallic chameleon type of thing going on. But this is really pretty. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, oh, she never the drop the box. So, this is Do You Boo? And this is Blue Beans. Gorgeous. So pretty. And these were, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't even give you the prices of the soaps. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to link them down below because I got this on sale. So I don't want to give you guys the wrong price. And then you look and be like, like that ain't what that good. And I'm be like, this ain't my bed. So I'm, I'm going to link them down below for you just to let you have them. But these are fire. Bye. Mm. So the last three things I picked up is this coffee scrub rub, which is pretty so explanatory. It's just a coffee bean scrub. Oh, it smells really good. 
And then I picked up this comforting blueberry seaweed face mask. It's a it's a fresh mask, um, kind of like the Lush ones. And this smells really good. Mm, that smells so good. And then I really wanted to try this out, even though I got the bar version. This is the Sleepyhead Lavender Soap, but it's a whip soap. And it's whipped with Himalayan salt. And I've never tried a whip soap. Never heard of it. I just thought it was so unique. And the texture is like very... I don't oh oh wow oh this lather is really good and the the Himalayan salt kind of acts as an exfoliant so this can also be doubled as like a body scrub oh my god oh oh wow mmm and I was just rubbing it on my arm to see how the, the salt would you know feel against my skin and it was already lathering up so i know these are gonna be oh, they're gonna i'm so excited y'all <laughs> i'm so proud of her like you don't understand i literally i got this box it's been at least two weeks now but i refused to touch anything until i was able to come on here and share with you guys because i just i love her brand so much i'm so happy for her and you know what she's been able to do she has amazing products and she's coming out with so many new things for fall. Um, I'm just, uh. <laughs> and lastly, this is one of her handmade lip glosses that she threw in the bag for me. And this is the shade Unbothered. It's like a mid-tone brown. Um, let's see. Mm. Mm. It's actually really pigmented. Ooh, and it smells good. It smells like cherry. Really moisturizing. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> okay. That is it for this haul video. Please, if you are interested in any of the products that you've seen or you want to see what else Pure With Love has to offer, you can check out their website down below in the description box. Let them know that I sent you. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content. And as always, I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video.